Well, it's Monday morning, and uh, I don't have to go to work today, which is good. Got two days off, extra, on top of the weekend. We were up pretty late last night, so I think I'm running on like four hours of sleep. And welcome to my vlog. Well, I'm assuming we had a power failure or an interruption or something last night because I woke up to every device in the house turned off, my alarm clock flashing 11 or whatever, like 12 o'clock and I don't know. We got to bed pretty late last night. I think last time I checked my clock, it said 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's another one to add to the collection. But yeah, pretty freaking late and uh, well, here I am. I'm awake somewhat so what do you guys think of the new format with putting the time of every entry in the bottom left hand corner think it's good think it's funny think it's stupid let me know oh I don't know what kind of hijinks we're gonna be up to today Rex was talking about uh, a project potential project that I was interested so we're gonna go see on that maybe I don't know and then go from there I don't know what else is happening but uh, we will see and I will check in later well, I really need to quit sleeping like this. This is getting ridiculous. Wake up at like 11-ish, let the dog out, and then go upstairs, check YouTube, find out it's still broken, pass back out. The only reason why I'm awake right now is because Rex 4x4 showed up at the house to see if I wanted to do something. He's like bored. He's like, let's go to Canadian Tire, but I really don't want to spend any money at Canadian Tire, and I have no reason, uh, no reason, no reason to go there. Whole lay at him. It's like, but uh, I can't even talk. I'm so frigged up. I got a wicked headache too again, probably because I'm sleeping all these whacked out hours I'm not used to. Oh, I can't do that tonight. Tomorrow I got to wake up at a decent time so I can get ready for work on Wednesday to actually be able to get myself back to a time schedule. So tonight I'm going to try and go to bed early or at least take enough sleeping pills to knock my ass out early or just wake up early tomorrow. So this morning I think when I filmed it was sunny out. Now it's pissing rain. You can probably hear it in the background too. Just passing rain. Oh, apparently Rex told me that he saw a chippy on the road. Apparently he uh, tried to outrun a car and well the car was faster so now he's bird food. That sucks. What can you do right? What can you do? And Looks like my tire is holding air, so I was so nervous last night at the gas station because I pumped the air into the tire and I was having a hell of a time getting the friggin' nozzle on the end of the valve. And then finally I got it hooked on there good. And I was spraying the air in, but I can still hear But I'm thinking it was the hose itself that was leaking, like the actual air pump hose. So sure enough, I get home and then uh, I came out this morning, I checked. The tire, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it through the lattice. Ah, yes you can. Still got plenty full of air in there, so we're good. We're good. No worries. So I was I was kind of nervous that I was going to have to run out to Barry's, uh, Barry's shell and get another tire or get that one friggin' stuffed that patch kit, but that well, seems to be holding air, so we're good. Just thinking about making some more tech videos today, but I can't figure out what I want to do it on. Got a couple Android apps I wanted to show you guys and some other stuff and things and Friggin' cat is just attacking the door. He's been weird all day. He was like upstairs, sitting on the bed, and then he just starts playing friggin' slap Adam's face game where he just takes his paw and starts smacking me in the cheek because he wants me to wake up. Meanwhile, he's got a full bowl of food, full bowl of water. I don't know what the hell his problem is. Maybe he's just bored and he wants attention. I don't know. Maybe he wants that interview done of why he's so fat, you know, because cats take after their owners apparently. But, uh, yeah. Well, I have no idea what's going to go on today. Pretty much the morning shot to shit. I'd, I'd like to get started on that garage today or tomorrow, but I don't want to be wheeling stuff in and out of the house in the rain because I don't want to get soaked. But I can, the least I can do is clean out that corner. Rex said he's going to contact me at around 5. He might go and see this. He knows a girl with a project who has uh, a project. Um, Rex just bought himself a riding tractor lawnmower, but it doesn't have a deck. It's basically designed for race. I don't know, I've never seen a racing lawn chair. The only, or a racing one, a racing lawnmower. The only racing lawnmowers I've ever seen were it was uh, somebody brought one to, uh, to, to Dave's farm last year and I think it went pretty good. It just had the stock motor, but apparently all he did was swap the pulleys or something. It had no, tw no torque off the line, but once he got it up to speed, like it was doing like 40 kilometers an hour down the laneway, which is pretty friggin' decent for riding lawnmower. Like you wouldn't want that speed with mowing your lawn because, well, back here, you'd be going full balls down the, la down the line. You gotta hit the brakes and you'd be into the friggin' shrubs, so. But whatever, he's uh, he's gonna get uh, get working on that. So you should check that out when he gets that project going. It'll be awesome. But I'm heading back inside, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, I just came outside for yet another cigarette. 
<laughs> I do that a lot. And uh, still piss actually has come down pretty hard out there, uh, the rain. So that sucks. But uh, I just made a video for uh, Sony Vegas tutorial because uh, some of you were asking how I do the zooming and the panning. So I figured I would show it. It's pretty easy. Once you see it, you're, you're going to be like, holy shit, that's easy. I love this program now. Just like I said. And then you'll get an idea as to how I do my outros, my stuff in a video over top of my thing to show like yesterday's video. Even though I'm really lazy and I never annotate it. But, you know, whatevs. Um, been trying to get the girlfriend to wake up, but she's freaking way out of it. So, for me, I had myself a couple cups of coffee. I'm going to go have a shower after the cigarette because I really need one. Holy. Obviously, as you can tell by my face, I probably do need to draw a razor across it. Definitely a shave is in order. So, it looks like YouTube somewhat fixed the sub box because... Um, I just checked and I had a bunch of videos from Friday and Saturday show up. Um, not all of them because I, mean, I know every day vlogger put videos out and his didn't show up in my sub box. And the same with uh, uh, It's Evelyn Gonzalez. Hers didn't show up in my sub box so I have no idea what's going on there. But uh, other people showed up. See the ones who don't, don't upload constantly. Um, I don't notice if they've shown up or not, but people like me, for instance, who have a schedule to keep, a, a video a day, you know that I'm making a video a day. Same with all the other vloggers I follow, I know they're putting out a video a day. The way I found that there was a problem with YouTube was when Shay Carl, like I, I think I said this two vlogs ago, Shay Carl put a, a tweet out saying, click this link to watch my dog Malachi beat the shit out of my brother's boxer. And I was like, what? And I clicked on it, sure enough, it was a brand new video that day, but it wasn't my sub box, so. That's when I knew that there was something wrong with YouTube. And sure enough, you check the videos from the top contributors like Shay Carl, I, Justine, and all them who put out videos pretty much every day to keep the revenue flowing, I'm assuming. You check them out and their videos have really suffered the views. Like, big time suffered the views. Normally, like I, Justine, she posts a video and on day two it's already at like 10, 20k video views. Well, this time it was at two to 3,000 video views on the second day. So, I'm pretty sure YouTube's gonna be taking a kick in the financial ball bag for this one, but whatever, that's their problem, right? Shouldn't be dicking with shit on a Friday, that's what I always say. You don't make changes on a Friday. Because everybody goes home on a Friday, nobody wants to come in on a Saturday to fix it. But it seems like every information technology based place likes to do big changes on a Friday that muck everything up. I said muck. And on Saturday when it's all broken, nobody wants to go in to fix it. Sunday they don't really care. Monday they come in and of course the big CEOs now are flipping their wigs because the weekend they lost a lot of money because of the stupid change somebody made where they dotted the wrong I or crossed the wrong T, you know what I'm saying? And now everything's broken. And you know what, every information technology company I know of is a victim to that. So that's why I don't understand why companies insist on doing change managements on Friday and they shouldn't. They should just hold off, wait till Monday, do it at the beginning of the week, that way there when the shit hits the fan you got four other days to fix it and get it up and running. Friday should just be a maintenance run. Just maintenance. That's all you should do on Friday, just maintenance. You know, defrag a couple hard drives or friggin' do some backups. Stuff that cannot affect the overall system, but what can I say? You know, everybody runs the company the same. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe common sense isn't something out there. Maybe that's what they're lacking. I, I don't know, but this is a big mess up. Like for me, I don't really care. Like it sucks that a lot of you guys didn't get to see the videos. You know, I apologize for that, but it's beyond my control. What can I say? But uh, the guys at YouTube really got to freaking pull up or pile. You know what I'm saying? That's an RC airplane reference. Pull up or pile your plane into the ground. You like it? You like that part? Pisses me off, but what can you do? Like for me, I'm not too worried about it. You know, you guys will get to see the vlogs. You just got to go to the channel page, right? And they'll be there. Holy, it's pissing outside hardcore. I don't even know if I want to go look at this project tonight. Especially if it's outside. Can't really videotape in the rain because my camera will get destroyed. But anywho, I'm going to head her back inside. I desperately need a shower and a shave. So I'm going to go do that. Um, upload the new tech video and we'll take her from there. So I'll talk to you guys well, in a bit. I tried to wake the girlfriend up a bunch of times, but she's not getting up. So I'm going to try a different strategy. I'm going to cook supper. So I'm going to make these pieces of chicken. They're butterfly chicken breasts. Eh, we'll see how they are. And I'm probably going to do some potatoes and vegetables with them. And then maybe the smell of cooking food will wake her up. But at about 6 o'clock, well, after 6 I should say, um, Rex is going to come over. We're going to meet out and we're going to go look at this project. And we got some other stuff to do too, so we'll take you along and go from there. Alrighty, so I got the chicken on the George Foreman in there. Got the potatoes boiling on the stovetop. And 
we're gonna have some mashed potatoes, some uh, what else we gonna have? mashed potatoes, chicken, and I'm just gonna grab a can of veggies from the cupboard and boil them up in the microwave. And I'll wake the girlfriend up and let her know supper's ready. And then Rex should be over here soon. We're gonna go scoop up some stuff and uh, take a look at this project so you guys will get a, an eye, uh, first hand view of the project. But it's something I've been wanting to build and it's already built. So we'll take a look at that. Maybe get a deal on it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, should be should be pretty fun. Well, he's supposed to text me when he's done dinner. I'm just cooking my dinner now. His wife's cooking his for six o'clock. So good times. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna get this party on on the go. Oh, the vlogs the past couple of days have seemed kind of brutal. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this one bit. We gotta do more stuff. Gotta wake up early in the morning. Tonight I'm going to bed early. Friggin' pop a bunch of sleeping pills and pass out so I don't wake up at friggin' three in the afternoon again. Oh, that pisses me off. But tomorrow we'll get a lot more done. And then Wednesday, it's back to work. Thursday work, Friday work, weekends here, back on night shifts. I love my night shifts. So we'll get this party rumbling, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in a bit. Alrighty, well, we got some potatoes boiling here. We're gonna boil some carrots, which are right there, half for a vegetable. And the chicken is doing its thing on the grill. So we'll just <laughs> let that go there. And dinner will be omnomalicious. Yeah. And there we go, dinner of champions. Garlic and herb mashed potatoes, carrots, chicken. I gotta hurry up and eat because Rex is on his way over. Girlfriend's in the shower, so she can eat after. And yeah, let's well, do it. I just got done eating. That was really good. But uh, now I gotta text Rex. I had to power down the food because uh, Rex is on his way over to a, a friend's house where they have some scrap metal that they're just getting rid of. So he wants it for his project. Uh, you know, in case he needs to weld some plates in and reinforce areas. And you know what it's like when you're modifying stuff that shouldn't be modified. So he's gonna go check on that. I was gonna go with him and help him load it, but uh, I wasn't done eating supper, so he said he was just gonna go and give her. And then uh, told me to text them afterwards. So right now I'm just waiting for the girlfriend to get out of the shower so that uh, I can explain to her where the food is and what to do and all that. And then uh, we're gonna friggin' head her off. So on that note, I'm just outside having a quick cigarette and then uh, we're gonna hit the road. So let's do this. All right guys, well Rex picked me up in the uh, Jeep and it was a bitch to get into. <laughs> and uh, look at the shifter here, eh? It's like a friggin' boat oar. Every time he puts it in the second, fourth, he punches me. True story that I just made up. Well, I don't know where we're going now, but we're going somewhere, so uh, I'll show you when we get there. So Rex's potential new purchase. Potential, maybe. A go-kart. my phone? Probably still on your dash. Son of a bitch. Am I right? Yes. I know. So there's his potentially new purchase. Yeah. He needs parts for his current project. Right, so a slight change in plans. Um, I decided to buy it. <laughs> 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 so, we loaded it into the truck. There we go. Gonna bring it to the house and, uh, Got yeah, should be pretty sweet. Oh, you're filming me, filming me? Filming you, but what are you? Well, actually, no, I am. Jesus. It, yeah. Hey, look at Double vlogage all the way. He but, sees uh, my Jeep. Where is he? Oh, Got a message. that's not cool. But, uh, yeah, looks like uh, we're getting a go-kart. Gonna modify it and have some fun with it. So, let's do this. Well, guys, hey, no, I'm good. Oh, sorry. we got her home. We got her home. So, this is just a simple mock-up of an idea you know we got the chair on here held up with a piece of friggin particle board i don't know much about this engine it's just a, a little hobby engine of some fashion if anybody out there on youtube's is uh, into the go-karting and stuff can tell me what the heck i'm up against here um it's got compression we tested that out already so that's a bonus and rex was saying the price i paid for this thing just the rear end alone is you know worth it so that's awesome we unfortunately can't fire up the engine right now because I, unlike Rex, I don't have a lot of fuel hose and stuff and fuel okay. line and he's got a garage, got a garage full, full of it. <laughs> and I'm not geared for that because I'm a computer nerd, not a mechanic nerd, so I, I don't know. But we'll, we'll get her going. It's going to be a winter project and then uh, next year when Rex has his uh, riding lawnmower out and um, I think he said Riley bought a riding lawnmower too. Yeah. So they're going to be rocking their riding mowers, and I'm going to be rocking a redneck lawn chair. Go, go me, eh? Friggin'. So, Pug, you jealous? I'm making a riding lawn chair too now, bud. I'm copying you. I know, I know. Don't copy Pug one, but I'm doing it. Got a bunch of lawn chairs in the back shed. I'm going to pick the best one, reinforce it, and reinforce it again. Modify the seat somehow so it's comfy. Or I might be a complete, uh, complete nerd and use this whole computer chair and modify it because that'd be really comfy. It's got computer lumbar chair. support. I got it, eh? Computer chair. I got to do the computer chair. It wouldn't be right. right. It, you can't. Yeah, no. Being a complete computer nerd, I kind of sort of have you to. You need the computer chair. Yeah. yeah it's almost, so, that's right. That's the battle plan there. Um, 
I guess we're gonna go for coffee now that we got this thing here and uh, tomorrow I really got to clean this garage because I want to get cracking on this project even though I said it's a winter project I need to make me some room oh my battery's dying so uh, on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty, so we're down here at the Hortons now. Last you saw, we were, we were playing with a go-kart. Now we're down at the Hortons. We got Mr. Poo Poo Garrett here. Oh, wow, nice intro. And uh, we got Rex 4x4, and he's got some uh, gonna ether. You're going to light that on fire? And some uh, friggin' hose. Oh, Jesus, really? Yeah. We're gonna start. I guess one. we're gonna try and start it tonight. So crazy bastard. That's we're gonna blow up. Shit. We're dead. We're I want, dead. I want it to start. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess you're gonna get a start tonight. So uh, we're gonna have some coffee, get nice and caffeinated, and then blow my house up. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Double smiles all the way. What does it mean? It means I'm not tired. You got round one. What'd like, you say about your cookies? My 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 uh, my smile cookies are obese. Oh, they got hit by something. Yeah, they're they're, they're short they got, fat. They're, they're the special <laughs> ones. <laughs> short fat. Yeah. <laughs> short fat. So we got Mike on the phone here, uh, Corpulent Idiots, and uh, he doesn't know he's about to be son of a bitch recorded. Ah. What? What's what? that? Do it again. I didn't hear that. So, so what? <laughs> what are you selling? What am I selling? Yeah, what are you selling? A go-kart, a moped. A go-kart and a moped. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so, so far we're at what, 35 bucks for your uh, the go-kart? Uh, I don't know, man. How much are you asking on Kijiji? I paid 260 bucks for it. I'm only selling for 200 bucks. So are you coming? I bought one tonight for 25 bucks. 25, no man, we were, we were up to 35. Let's no, 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 I just bought a go-kart tonight. <laughs> yeah, for 25 bucks. What kind is it? I don't know, some fucking makeshift home backyard oh, jobby that's getting lifted and shit. It's is pimp. It no, it's, it's, it's factory, it's retail. It's what? It, it's factory. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a factory build, it's quality, it's, it's high end, it's performance. It's got nitrous. <laughs> uh, nitrous, nice. Yeah, man. Uh, it's... What is it, like a Honda Odyssey or something? Uh, yeah, no, no, it's an actual low-profile go-kart. With racing slicks. Oh, fuck, one of those ones with the freaking slicks on it. Yeah, man. Those are sweet. Yeah, it's gonna go like snot. Nice. Especially when I put the nitrous on it. Anyways, I gotta get going. Oh, why? Okay, so my, my offer is set at 35. 37. Think about it. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 <laughs> ripping around. Mike from the Corbiel Idiots, everybody. Mike from the Corbiel Idiots. <laughs> That's boring. All right, well, we're home now. I went to the Hortons, hung out for a bit, and then Garrett told us about a lead on some tractor tires. So we went and checked them out and scooped them up. Unfortunately, Rex took them, so I don't get them. But that's fine. I'm probably going to figure something out for this thing because I'm not sure how the tires are bolted on there to be honest with you I never even inspected that so it looks like it's just threaded on or something I don't know we'll figure it out this be the new project something similar to what you see there just I got the chair sitting on it and I'm not gonna use a plastic chair because it's gonna fold in half and obviously I gotta lift the steering up so ah, it'll be a work in project uh, work in progress I got some folding lawn chairs in the back and I want to relocate the throttle because right now the way it should be done is you sit mainly on the ground and go and I don't know I might even do that because like I said before I have this little computer chair it needs a little bit of work but I could always take the seat off sit it right on the floor of this thing and then with a lift kit just give her and put the throttle back up front leave the steering where it is and just go so right now for the throttle though all they're using is a handbrake so you just take the handbrake and bolt it back onto the uh i guess the frame and just stomp on it to go but there's no foot brake set up but it is equipped with uh disc brakes as you can see right here it's just they have nothing hooked up to it so there's no uh no line so you just got to run a line to another pedal i guess and then freaking have at her but you know we can do something with it it's not uh eh, it'll be good but on that note i'm gonna end the vlog here guys i gotta edit and upload and all that fun stuff so if you like today's video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button it lets me know you like the video and i like that if you have any questions comments or concerns about today's video or the project that's going to be happening uh be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and until next time guys keep on blogging